In this section for statistics, uh, we are going to explore three things which are mainly called averages. So there are three things that we're going to learn. It's called mean, mode, and median. So these three are kind is um, are known as averages. Uh, so these three will help us to explain data better. Okay, so it doesn't matter which in which order you learn these three. So it can be you learn mode first, you learn median first, you learn mean first, it doesn't matter. Okay, so out of these three measures, which we call measures of central tendency, uh, the mode is the easiest. And then um, mean is the primary school average that you learned in primary school. Median is one of the harder one. Okay, so we're going to start off with mode first. Uh, so mode is known as the most popular. So mode, mode, right, is what we call it the most popular. That means, right, it actually happened many, many times. Something that happens many, many times means it's, like it's very popular or it, there's a lot of frequency with it. Okay, so if you look at the data set, okay, so if you look at A, the data set, 54, 69, 70, 72, and 80. So actually, we couldn't tell which one is the most popular because each of them uh, appear once only. So in this case, right, it's kind of like we couldn't tell if there's any popular numbers or not. So in such a case, we don't have any more. So we got no sense of popular. We got no feel of which number is popular because every number appear once. So, but if you refer to the second set of data, okay, you look 24, 26, 28 is repeated like three times. Can you see? So it's, like, it's actually something that looks quite popular. So in this case, right, my mode is 28. So it's just like you, you if you shortlist like three kinds of fruits, you go around asking your classmate, and the one that is the most popular, like they keep answer, uh, uh, they keep giving you that, that same favorite fruit, then that will be the mode. So in this case, 28 is the mode because it's very popular, it appeared three times. Okay, so uh, if you look at part C, okay, if you look at the data, right, it seems like uh, seven is popular because it appeared twice. But then, right, 12 also appeared twice. So this is something what we'll call bimodal. That means we got double mode. We got two mode. So in this case, I have two popular numbers, eight, eight, seven and 12. So that's the idea of being popular. That's the idea of mode. So that's why it is one of the easiest one. So, uh, Okay, so let's go on to the example two. Sometimes uh, you, when you look at the data, if you look at the data and it's not arranged for you, it's actually not so easy to tell. So one of the key thing right, is we would want to arrange the data. Sometimes if you don't arrange the data, you actually couldn't tell which one appear like very frequently, right? So for example, in this question A, uh, we got nine boys and this is their height. So if you look, it's quite jumbled up. We got a 158, then we got a 179, then we got a 164. Because it's jumbled up, we couldn't tell so properly. So actually you should try to order them first. It seems like the smallest is 156 and I got three of them. So I got three boys that are 156 centimeter tall. Okay. Okay, and I got a 158. Okay, so I got a 164. Okay, I got a 2175. Two boys who are 175. And 178 and 179. So once you arrange them already, it will be easier that you see which is the most popular. So the most popular one will be this because it appeared three times. So the mode is one five six centimeter because it appeared three times. 
Okay. But if you arrange your data, you also need to check whether you miss out data or not. So if there are nine data because there are nine boys, you do some counting. Make sure you have nine data after arranging. So that's where a uh, careless mistake can happen. Okay. So after arranging, right, the, we're going to add on three more boys. So we're going to add in three more boys, 178, 175, and a 180. So where will you insert the 178? The 178 will be here. The 175 will be here. And the 180 will be at the back. So after we insert these three boys, right? Okay, do we encounter some changes? Uh, we do encounter some changes because 175 appear three times, same as 156. So because of the additional three boys, right now we got two more. So the mode will be the 156 and the 175. Okay, so that is the idea of mode being the more popular ones. And then uh, to in, in order to enable you to see mode easily, it's easier if you arrange it in, um, in um, uh, ascending order from the smallest to the biggest. Okay, so subsequently, right, we still have some examples on mode. So in the previous topic, the previous chapter, the previous teaching worksheet, we learn about dot diagram. So right now in a dot diagram, we can also be telling the mode. The one with the most number of dots will be the most popular. So if you look, this one is very popular because there are four dots. So my mode is 11 centimeter. And if you still remember your stem and leaf, we already learned stem and leaf and it's always arranged nicely for you. So because it's already arranged nicely, it's easier to see. So you look carefully, we got 48 that's repeated four times. And we also got 65 that's repeated four times. So you check out, is there any other numbers that appear more than four times? But if you do not find any one, then this will be the one that we have two more. It will be 48 and uh, 65. So, but this is like a bit like what we mentioned previously is by model. Okay. So then if you go to part C, that is a table, that's a frequency table. So interpret the table first. Okay. So we will interpret the table in this way. So there are three workers and these three workers earn $18 per hour. Here we got seven workers and this each of the seven workers earn $19 per hour. So these are the number of workers and what is their hourly wage. So if you look at the frequency, which is the highest frequency, we got eight workers earning 21 hours. So the mode is not the eight workers, okay? The mode is the amount of money. So the eight workers is the one that tells us that it's very, very popular. So the popular hourly wage, hourly wage is $21. Okay, so in a histogram or a bar chart, so in this case, this is a bar chart. By the height of the bar chart, we already can tell the mode. So in this case, right, uh, the cars, which is the most popular color, silver is the most popular color because we got 50, cars being silver color. Okay, so this is how we use the graph that we already know to find out about more. Uh, particularly the stem and leaf are, and the dot diagram are the new uh, data, uh, data, that, uh, data set that you learned. Okay, so this is the idea of mode, which I think is quite easy. Just think about the most popular or it appear a lot of times. So that's the idea of mode. 